Well, hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. Looks like uh, they could have us so spun out that we don't see that we're on the verge of civil war. I'm going to read this uh, post. The link to it will be below. Uh, 14 United States governors prepare state militia defenses to be ready against Obama's rogue federal forces. Obama, fearing a revolution against him by the states, has moved swiftly by nationalizing nearly all National Guard forces in multiple states, Georgia, Alabama, Kansas, Minnesota, Tennessee, Virginia, Louisiana, South Carolina, to name a few. The governors of the great states of Alabama, Georgia, Louisiana, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, and Virginia still have under their command and control the state defense forces to go against U.S. federal forces should the need arise. Also important to note, there is no U.S. laws prohibiting National Guard troops from also joining their state's defense forces. This dilemma occurred during the Civil War, with many citizen soldiers choosing to serve their states instead of the federal government. Obama is angered by the uh, several state governors who have reestablished state defense forces. These forces are described as state defense forces, also known as state guards, state mil military reserves, state militias. In the United States, are military units that operate under the sole authority of a state government. They are not regulated by the National Guard Bureau, nor are they part of any Army National Guard of the United States. States' defense forces are authorized by state and federal law and are under command of the governor of each state. State defense forces are distinct from their state's National Guard in that they cannot become federal entities. Mr. Obama is fearful of these state defense forces in that he does not have control of said forces, and with the U.S. military stretched to near breaking from multiple deployments in theater actions in Iraq and Afghanistan, these state military forces would be under the direct command and authority of the governors in which states have said forces. In essence, the governors would have the de facto control of the United States. Well, whether you think that, you know, Obama should be taken out or not is basically irrelevant if both sides are building up to war. This, that we could be on the verge of another civil war. I mean, we've got Occupy going on. Now, we've got 14 states that have stood up to Obama, which I'm glad they are. We need to get them out of there. Okay. Um, but you got to make some preparations, people. One way or the other. I don't know what's coming down the pike. Bad things. That's all I can tell you. And you got to prepare within your means. Don't freak out. Be of the mindset that you're going to have to make some major changes. And, uh, you know, they may just have us all spun out on these world events so that we don't see right here in our own country. We're on the brink of civil war. Martial law may not even apply. It may just be all-out civil war. Obama did say America was now a battleground. It's probably because he knew about these states rising up against him before we did. It's time to get ready. We've got to stand by our soldiers. Our soldiers got to stand by us. Our, our police have to stand by us. Local law. It's getting crazy, people.